Okay, so now I'm going to talk about how to uh, collect ground-dwelling arthropods, terrestrial ground-dwelling arthropods. And the way we're going to do that is by using pitfall traps. Now you can generally collect ground-dwelling arthropods by looking underneath debris like fallen wood, uh, rocks, um, boards, or just uh, seeing what you see on the ground such as ants and spiders and then collecting those with a, a vial or some forceps. But if you want to collect large quantities of ground-dwelling arthropods, uh, you can use pitfall traps. And what we use is basically PVC pipe sleeves. We use uh, glass test tubes that go into the sleeve of these this PVC pipe. And so this glass test tube goes into the sleeve of this PVC pipe and we take the cork off and then this is put into the ground. And then we have a lid that goes on top to deter rain debris from falling into the trap. <clears throat> Inside the trap here you can use water, um, alcohol, you can use bait. So you can put a piece of meat or something to attract prey if you want to just catch live insects. Glass is the best I recommend uh, because the insects have trouble climbing up glass. But you, the pro if you use live uh, pitfall trapping, then you have a problem with other insects such as spiders or scorpions eating other insects that you may collect in your trap. So if you want to collect crickets, uh, you may have to use a, a solution of ethanol or some kind of killing agent. Uh, otherwise, other insects will eat each other. So the best solution to use is propylene glycol. Uh, it's basically antifreeze and uh, we try to use a, a, a solution that's pet safe. So this stuff, um, it's, it's, not very it's not very toxic. Ethylene glycol is much more toxic. Um, so if an animal digs it up and drinks it, um, it could be dangerous to the animal. Uh, so that's why we use propylene glycol. If you don't have uh, the test tube and PVC pipe sleeves, then you can easily make your own pitfall traps by just using some regular solo cups or Dixie cups. Any kind of uh, a party cup is really good. You just use one cup inside another one. And if you could use propylene glycol or you can just use water and you just pour that in there, set it into the ground and just check it daily and you'll, you'll have specimens from, you'll have terrestrial ground dwelling insects. So that is how you put a pitfall trap into the ground. What I did is uh, I made sure that the wires stay out like that. That way it's harder for the lid to come up. When you're burying the trap, I always make sure to leave the cork on when I'm burying it so that way I'm not getting stuff into the trap. And I clear the dirt around it. Make sure it's really tight and you want to push the soil you want to compact it really tight around that trap so it's hard for it to come out. Once you get that really pressed in there, then with the debris on the outside, you kind of want to make sure all the soil is back to kind of looking at a normal, uh, the way it was before you dug the hole. <clears throat> then you take the top off. and put the lid on and bend the wires back. And then you have a pitfall trap. And then when you want to collect your specimens, you come out and this can, with the use of propylene glycol, you can leave this out for uh, a couple of weeks, sometimes up to three or four weeks. 
uh, depending on the solution you use. But propylene glycol is the best. And we usually leave it out for about 21 days. The insects do not rot in that solution and they preserve well and they're euthanized. You take the wire, you take the lid off. And what's great is with the sleeve, you can collect your trap with the sleeve still in the ground. Put the cork and then you have your specimens in the propylene glycol and you take this back to the lab for processing. If you don't have a PVC pipe or a glass prosilicate glass uh, tubing, you could just buy some solo cups at the store and you dig a hole and put this into the ground. What I use is a cup within a cup and you could use water or propylene glycol. You can get propylene glycol at the store. Dig your hole just deep enough for the cup and if you have the cup within a cup you put the whole thing in and just completely bury it and find where you put the cup and you take that cup within the cup out of the ground and you dump the soil out and then this is the cup that you have your specimens in pour a little bit of water in there Insects will drown in the water, or if you want them uh, not to rot and you want to leave it out for a couple of days, you can use propylene glycol, and then the specimens will last a lot longer, and you don't have to check it as much. You put this down on the ground, and then you have a trap. Insects will wander around and randomly just fall into your trap, and then drown in the water or uh, die in the propylene glycol solution. If you use propylene glycol, I don't recommend using propylene glycol in cups like this because it's very big and animals can have access to it and drink it. It's better to use something encased in PVC pipe and a small amount of solution if you're going to use propylene glycol. If you're using the cups, water or soapy water is probably the best. Uh, there are some insects like wasps that can float on the surface, on the, on the surface tension of the water. So to, to prevent that from happening, you mix a little bit of detergent in with the water and that prevents insects from being able to climb out of this container.